Hello everyone! As we all know, we are in the middle of a pandemic caused by the COVID-19 virus and the recent months have shown us that COVID is here to stay, at least for a little bit longer than we thought and hoped for. And therefore, more and more parents are testing positive during pregnancy or when your baby is just born and you've gone home with your baby and you're COVID positive and you're asking yourself what to do. Well, in this video, we talk about the latest evidence and how to deal with your newborn baby if you're COVID positive. Let's start and let's go into the video. Hello future or current parents, if you are worried about getting COVID during pregnancy or when your baby is born, you're right, COVID is literally everywhere right now, you just have to step out the door to get it unfortunately. What we know is that babies are unlikely to get COVID, usually babies born by COVID, COVID positive mothers are not COVID positive themselves and even if they are, they have no or very mild symptoms. That being said, we still need to use some precautions and some hygiene rules in order to make sure that you and your baby are healthy and safe. Therefore, I'm not a doctor, I'm a midwife. I was not expecting to do a video all about COVID, but I find myself every day advising people and new parents about how to deal with COVID and therefore, why not to share it with you? So if you don't know me already, my name is Ilenia, I'm a midwife. I've been a midwife now for seven years. I currently live and work in the UK and it's my great passion, passion to help women during their pregnancy, birth and postpartum journey. So if you've not done so already, please make sure to subscribe to the channel because I do a video every week about motherhood topics. The recent evidence that us that babies are very unlikely to get COVID from parents and that they are unlikely to be very sick and heal from it. We also know now being two years into this pandemic that bonding with mom and dad is more important that the risk of limiting or preventing the bonding from the baby and the mom especially is definitely higher than the risk of the baby to contract covid therefore i hope that every hospital now has this approach but even at home you have to be with your baby close to your baby you have to promote bonding skin to skin and keep breastfeeding even if you are covid positive this is quite clear from the evidence, I'm referring to the WHO, UNICEF, UNICEF or the Royal College of Obstetric and Gynecologists, they all agree that the bonding with the baby and the mom is so important to prevent and reduce morbidity and more mortality in the newborn baby. That being said, we still have to adopt some norms and rules in order to make sure that you and your baby are safe and that you limit the chance of your baby to contract COVID. First, first and most important is about hygiene. It's very important that you wash your hand appropriately before you hold your baby. Every time that you pick your baby up, make sure that your hands are washed and clean before you do that every time. And for example, if you have visitors at home, I hope that if you're COVID positive, you don't have anyone coming to your house, but if you need help or if you're, if the person that is with you is COVID negative, for example, and you're COVID positive, make sure that also the person working or living with you adopts these, these rules so that they wash their hands every time they touch the baby, that they wear a mask as well. And um, wearing a mask is one of those a bit more contradictive because we're not 100% sure, but I would personally suggest you to wear a mask when you're holding your baby if you're COVID positive, that would prevent the droplets to go on your baby and limit therefore the chance of your baby having COVID. I know it's very hard, but especially when you keep your baby less than two meters close to you, I would definitely suggest you to wear a mask. Also, it's very important if you have symptoms like cough and sneezing, it's very important to have some tissues nearby you just so you can grab them and cover your mouth and nose when you're about to sneeze or to cough. Again, just to prevent the spreading and the distribution of droplets and the COVID bacteria into your baby. If you have high fever, it's very important that you try not to um, be sleeping with your baby like it's it because sleeping needs to be done safely in general but if you are very hot then your baby is likely to get hot as well and it's not good for your baby so make sure that you are careful about that you can do skin to skin but like if you are having a high temperature just be mindful of your baby's temperature as well if you are unwell and you're able to breastfeed, try to pump and make sure that the person that is living with you and is helping you caring for your baby 
feeds their, your baby for you until you get better. If you pump or if you're using equipment, uh, pacifier, anything you need that is in contact with you and the baby, it needs to be sterilized properly and even more throughout if you're COVID positive is possible um, because it's very easy for the COVID to be transmitted by, by equipment. So make sure that it's nice and clean and sterile before each use and before you pass equipment to, from you to your baby. If you are too unwell to breastfeed your baby, make sure that you pump your breast milk and that you don't have your milk journey and your milk supply impacted by these days where you're gonna be unwell. You can still breastfeed your baby once you feel better and once you're not COVID positive anymore. But if you're not unwell and you just have mild on those symptoms, please, please continue to breastfeed. There is no evidence that says that a woman should not breastfeed the baby if you're COVID positive. On the contrary, anticorps have been found in breast milk but not COVID so far so it's kind of a way that you have to give a natural vaccination to your baby through your breast milk. If you feel unwell please seek for medical attention it's very important that you also pay attention to your baby as I was saying before babies are unlikely to be symptomatic of COVID but if your baby becomes lethargic and well is not sleeping and is coughing or sneezing or has high temperature and you know that you're COVID positive please do not hesitate to seek for medical attention and get your baby seen as soon as you can. Call the services available in your country for advice. Usually a lot of countries have breastfeeding lines available or numbers that you can call if your situation is not urgent and does not require you to go to the A&E of the hospital, but you just want an advice, call your GP, your, your general practitioner doctor, and make sure that you are informed about what you should do in this situation. Those are all general advice that are reliable and valid at, at the moment I record this video which is January 2022 but as we know the situation can change very quickly and something that we know for sure now might be contradicted in very short time so please make sure that you follow the latest evidence especially when it comes to COVID. If you are COVID positive and you're a newly parent, I feel you, I'm very sorry for you. You will feel better, you will be COVID negative again. So please make sure that you follow the advice I was saying to you in this video, that you follow the hygiene advice, that you wash your hand before you have your baby, that you wear a mask and you will be better soon. I wish you a very smooth recovery and I'll see you next video. Bye bye.